Ram of Mexico C Tango. Hello, this is Mike McCoy, and I just WD four AM in Lenore, North Carolina. As you can see, we just finished putting up our twenty meter rotary dipole. If you copy, I'm videoing uh, for YouTube uh, and got your voice on it. It's WD4AM. Yeah, what was that again, Mike? You think you, you put it on YouTube? Go ahead. Yeah, I'm recording right now. I'm recording your voice right now. I'm going out now from the radio shack, going out and get a picture of the dipole, Paul. And when you get home, just type in WD4AM. You can hear yourself. God bless you, WD4AM. Okay, very good, Mike. We'll look for it. 73, my friend, and we'll look for that uh, video on the antenna. This is W2IMT Mobile in the state of New York. And there you have it, folks. And here once again, Yodin, WDCAT. Okay, now we're going outside and look a picture of the 20 meter dipole. We worked all morning on this. This is another one of my rotary dipole antennas. As you can see, we have it up on the light pole. Ah, it's about 40 feet up on the light pole. It consists of copper elements, a piece of plexiglass. of glass, the elements are about uh, 16 feet long, as you can see. The 10 meter dipole is up on the tower, right below the 10 meter, I mean 6 meter homebrew beam. And on that I had two uh, inverted V's, one for 40 meters and 75. So as you can see, the 20 meter rotary dipole is doing a great job. This is WD4AM in Lenora, North Carolina. Be looking for you on 2610, wherever I can find you with my homebrew antennas. Thank you.